Believe it or not, 80% of the world's trade is transported by sea. Every day, thousands of massive vessels carrying shipping containers, millions of tons of commodities, and you name it, crisscross the oceans delivering goods. At the same time, those ships deliver 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere annually. While almost all sectors have been investing heavily in reducing carbon dioxide emissions via innovation and new technologies, the maritime shipping sector has barely begun to scratch the surface of becoming green, and it is interestingly achieving that by going back in time. Their new secret weapon is the ancient engine of the sea, winds. Yes, they are testing a new technology called wind-assisted propulsion to move huge, ultra-heavy ships across the oceans. The idea is simple. Equip ships with modern wing sails that harness the winds, just like sailboats do. Sounds crazy, right? Well, it is not, and the technology is quite amazing and can reduce fuel consumption by up to 30%. Right now, the vessel Pixis Ocean, which has been fitted with wind wings, is traveling from China to Brazil, and it is getting 30% of its propulsion from the winds. Who is behind this amazing breakthrough? How does it work? And will this new technology revolutionize the maritime shipping industry? Stay tuned for the details. The vessel Pixis Ocean was built in 2017 and is flagged in Singapore. It is currently being chartered by the American giant Cargill. It was recently retrofitted with two 37, five meter tall wind wing sails, a technology developed by the British company Bar Technologies and manufactured by the Norwegian firm Yara Marine Technologies in Norway. Over the past few months, engineers worked around the hour at the Costco shipyard in Shanghai, China, installing the new system which is made from foldable steel and fiber while conducting tests to ensure compatibility, safety, and optimal results. Once the vessel was ready, it conducted a short test sail from Shanghai to Singapore. And on August 22nd, it departed Singapore on a three weeks journey to Brazil to deliver thousands of tons of goods while testing the effectiveness of the new wind wing system. The vessel Pixis Ocean is a carrier or bulker merchant ship, specially designed to transport unpackaged bulk cargo, such as grain, coal, ore, steel coils, and cement in its cargo holds. These types of ships represent up to 25% of the world's merchant fleets and range in size from single-hold mini-bulk carriers to mammoth ore ships able to carry more than 400,000 metric tons of dead weight. Such ships normally have a single two-stroke low-speed crosshead diesel engine directly coupled to a fixed-pitch propeller. The size of the diesel engines used in such ships is about the size of a small four-story apartment building. Yes, they are incredibly huge and run on fossil fuels. So needless to say, they are big polluters just like container ships and emit huge amounts of carbon dioxide per nautical mile. In fact, bulk carriers are just as bad as tankers and produce two and a half times more CO emissions than container ships. The good news here is that if the wind wings prove to be effective, it could also be combined with low carbon fuels to generate further savings for shipping companies while reducing their carbon dioxide footprint by up to 50%. Mind you that if the shift to green hydrogen is achieved, that number goes up to 99%, which is quite impressive and possible, but is also costly and will take a couple of decades to implement on a global and comprehensive scale. Bar Technologies and Yara Marine Technologies are also already planning to build hundreds of wings of various sizes over the next four years, with orders already rolling in. One of the reasons this project is of such immense importance has to do with the corporate giants behind it. If this test succeeds, which is already being achieved, the shipping industry can finally begin to not just cut carbon dioxide emissions, but also achieve more profits while mitigating inflation. The vessel Pixis Ocean is owned by Mitsubishi Corporation, which is Japan's largest trading company and has been in the shipbuilding business since 1884. It is the world's second biggest shipbuilder after Hyundai Heavy Industries. It is also the only international company capable of integrated production of not only ships, but also engines, high-performance turbines, and marine machinery. It's considered a rich repository of superior shipbuilding technology. The company has also been increasingly innovating in alternative fuels for its colossal global fleet and fleets owned by its client base. 
The second giant involved in the Wind Wings technology is the American behemoth, Cargill, which is a family-owned global food corporation based in Minnetonka, Minnesota, and incorporated in Wilmington, Delaware, and has been in business since 1865. It is also the largest privately held company in the United States in terms of revenue. Some of Cargill's major businesses are trading, purchasing, and distributing grain and other agricultural commodities, such as palm oil, trading in energy, steel, and transport, raising livestock and the production of livestock feed, and producing food ingredients such as starch and glucose syrup, vegetable oils, and fats for application in processed foods and industrial use. It is responsible for more than 25% of all United States grain exports. The company also supplies about 23% of the U.S. domestic meat market, importing more products from Argentina than any other company, and is the largest poultry producer in Thailand. Its global operations are of indescribable scale. It owns and leases an incredibly large fleet of container and mostly dry bulk carriers. These vessels make more than 6,500 port calls per year and move over 220 million tons of 100 different dry bulk commodities. The involvement of car Cargill in the Wind Wings project is of immense importance and can lead other giants to follow suit and create a ripe ground for competition in developing even more efficient systems. The collaboration between these two giants, which utilized BAR technologies for the development and design of Wind Wings and Yara Marine technologies for the building and installation, was also co-funded by the European Union as part of the Czech Horizon 2020 initiative. Let's now take a look at this new technology and how it works. Wind-assisted propulsion is defined as the practice of decreasing the fuel consumption of a merchant vessel through the use of sails or some other wind capture device. In recent years, the rise in fuel prices and related crises, along with governmental pressure on shipbuilders and operators to cut carbon dioxide emissions, led to the birth of new advanced wind-assisted technologies and the speed-up of implementation. The mechanical means of converting the kinetic energy of the wind into thrust for a ship is not as straightforward as some think, because the average modern loaded cargo ship weighs about 1,000 times more than the old large classic wood ships with sailcloths. Early ships were designed around the sails that propelled them. Commercial ships are now designed largely around the cargo that they carry, requiring a large clear deck and minimal overhead rigging in order to facilitate cargo handling. This means the wind wings can not interfere with deck operations, and by design, they do not. Today, there are three main concepts as the leading designs for wind-assisted propulsion. The wing sail concept, the kite sail, and the Flettner rotor. The current project involving the Cam Sarmax Pixis Ocean bulk carrier involves wing sail technology. Wing sail designs are considered to be the most effective and usually involve an automated system of large rectangular solid sails supported by cylindrical masts. The system is also designed to tilt in order to enable the ship to pass under bridges. The entire system is automated, meaning the sails alter direction to maximize efficiency based on wind direction and speed. The wind wings by the firms Bar and Yara are quite advanced. Their wind wing system can be fitted to the decks of both tankers and bulk vessels and can be folded away at the touch of a button. All components are also made from high-quality, durable, marine-grade materials, and it is efficient, robust, reliable, and safe by design. The system is also accompanied by the Ship System Efficiency Analysis Tool, which is a unique software designed to combine the accurate simulation and interaction of complete hydrodynamic and ship propulsion systems with bespoke optimizing, multiple objectives, performance prediction, and routing. Do you think such technology combined with green alternative fuels can invade the maritime shipping industry and make it green? Let us know in the comments section and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you.